Jack Ramaz and the Joker. He gets a big, big win against Edmund Shabazi and the Golden Boy. He moves to 9-4 and four in the UFC, 22-6 uh, and six overall. But hey, man, listen, this was there was some trouble in the first round, man. Jack Hermanson was in trouble. His stand-up uh, didn't really look up to par. He looked like he came out pretty slow. Didn't get the in-and-out movement as much. Instead, we just got eaten, eaten, eaten shots until finally he woke up and decided to take the fight to the ground, man. Um, just give me your take on Jack Hermanson, how impressive it was, and uh, what does this mean for Edmund Shabazi? Bazian, man, you know what I mean? Let's grade the performance overall. Well, I, I think you nailed the hit the nail on the head, Derek. Jack Hermansa just started a little slow, gave Edmund Shabazian that opportunity just to start piecing him up. I gave the first round to Edmund Shabazian, but after that, Hermansen took over. He might have came out a little slow and kind of plodding around, but once he was able to get his his actual game working and he felt comfortable and he felt like at home, it was pretty much over from the from the second round on. And I definitely think it was it was wasn't the best performance we've seen from Jack Hermansen. Like I said, obviously, or like we both said, he started a little slow, kind of got pieced up a little bit. So we want it left a little more to be desired from Jack Hermansen. But even from Edwin Shabazi, and it started off really well. But his ground game got exposed. And no matter how sharp your hands are or how good you're looking at range, the second you accept a bottom position with your back against the ground, it's never a good look. And that's that's ultimately what was the crux of his whole game plan was just no ground game or no get up. No, no, no. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I think enthusiasm or, or, or pressure to stand up. He was he accepted the fight on the bottom. And at the end of the th- or in the third round, it was basically over and he was just getting pieced up. Yeah, man. And that's at the end of the day, it's like, that's what it really comes down to, right? Is when your back is on the ground, you need to then use all of the energy that you have to try to get back up to your feet, make an effort, do something, shrimp, whatever the case may be. Easier said than done when you're fighting a mauler, a killer in Jack Hermanson, who kind of reminds me of the mauler of uh, Alexander Gustafsson in that ground and pound, man, like that mean, mean ground and pound. But Jack Hermanson, I just will say his ground and pound impresses me every single time because he does the little things that a lot of people won't do, right? So he'll throw a little hammer fist like literally like that but accumulation if you saw shabazian's face at the end of the fight man he was pieced up it was it was rough so for that reason um i i think that jack hermanson arguably one of the i mean top three maybe ground and pound in all of ufc at this point but you're gonna need to do more than that if you want to advance up those rankings man and if he's number seven right now and he wants to move up a little bit more and he wants to you know really contend he called out robert whitaker literally the number one dude in the division right so if you want to fight dudes like that I think it would be a very, very long night at the office if he fought a Robert Whitaker who's just going to piece him up on the feet, man. But you got to do whatever you can do to try to, uh, you know, take the fight to your strong suits. And I will just notice in his last five, he's gone win, loss, win, loss, win, right? And the only losses have come to Jared Cannonier and Marvin Vittori. He's got a win over Shabazi and Kevin Gastelum and uh, Jacare Souza, who is no longer with the UFC anymore. So I guess I should announce that too. Yeah, Jacare Souza, no longer with the UFC. It's not like he has been terminated. Um, I think I talked about that on the preview show that he got released from his contract. And now that the details have come out further, it just didn't, you know, that was the last, last fight on his ufc contract and they're choosing not to extend him so at the end of the day aj does that make it worse it's the same thing right basically you're not with the ufc anymore it doesn't matter whether you're released or whether it was the last fight it's, it's all the same right i think it's all the same especially when you go out like he did man it's it, it was a rough one yeah. yeah yeah rough one but anyways that's not what we're talking about here big win for the joker like i said moves to nine and four hands edwin shabazi in his second career loss man Good stuff, man. Good good stuff for the Joker. But like I said, we're going to need to see a little more improvement in the stand-up department if we want to see him advance a little bit further in the division.